This is Bangkok, the capital of Thailand, a sprawling city with almost 11 million people living here. It is known as the Venice of the East with its amazing waterways, these superb markets, um, incredible food and shopping, a tourist paradise. And it's wonderful to see here. And it's also one for the fans. Sports is massive here at the Nimibut Stadium. It's the host venue for the HSBC BWF Thailand Masters 2024. And we're into finals day here. Our order of play for you with this Super 300 event. We're going to start with men's doubles. Who would have thought the teenage sensations who had to come through qualifying are here now in the final? Having beaten more illustrious opponents, they take on He Ji Ting and Reng Xiang Yu, the fifth seeds from China. It's a big, big ask, but they will surely be up for it with the home crowd right behind them. Well, this crowd will also, I'm sure, get behind Supanida Ketong, who is the fourth seed, and she takes on Aya Ohori, who is looking for her first title in a long, long while, the third seed Japanese player. Well, two men who have probably not been at their very best in a while, looking to return to winning ways. Uh, Cho Tian Chen, who has been uh, out in the first round, of five consecutive tournaments. The fifth seed from Chinese Taipei uh, meets the former world champion Lo Kien Yu, the second seed from Singapore, whose last final was in July of last year at the Korea Open. Into women's doubles, Li Jing and Luo Xu Min of China will take on the Yam Sa'ad sisters, Ben Yapa and Nuntakan. They are the second seeds here from Thailand. Again, the crowd will get right behind them. And even bigger shout, you would imagine. They are huge here. Dechapon, Puavranukron, and Sabsidi Teratanachai, the top seeds in the mixed doubles from Thailand. Uh, they've contested a few finals here. They've never won the title, though Teratanachai has won women's doubles in the past. Well, they take on the second seeds from Malaysia. Chen Tang Chie and To Yi Wei. So huge matches to come. Lots of excitement. And we're going to start with the men's doubles. This is the path to the final uh, that we can see here. And there was obviously always going to be a Thai presence in the final with an all-Thai semi-final in the top half of the draw. Uh, most people would have thought it would be Thailand's top-ranked pair of Jomko and Kedrin, but Sukbun and Tira Ratsakun have uh, really upset the form book to make it all the way here. Yeah, they're the new sensations, these teenagers. And the crowd really taking to them. Heavily, heavily fancy the Chinese pair. Men's doubles has once been won by China in 2017, Huang Kaixiang and Wang Yiliu, and once by Thailand in 2018, Tin Isrianet and Kitisak Namsdash. So, there will be a second medal here for one of these two nations in men's doubles. Indonesia and Malaysia have been the two most successful nations in previous editions. This is only the seventh edition of the Thailand Masters. First time meeting between these two pairs, no surprises. These guys had to come through qualification. Black for you. Black for you. Your choice? Receive. Pakapon will receive, full serve. Then which side, this side. Right, uh, 76, well, 19-year-olds playing their very first event in 2024. 
It is a, a superb achievement for them. So, Pirachai Sukbun is 19, 173 centimeters tall, 76th in the world. They've only been a little better than that at 73. It's just such a great achievement to see that they are here and uh, performing so well. Pakapon Tirarat uh, Sakun is from Bangkok, 19 years of age as well. They won the Future Series in France in 2022. That's a sole victory. So they've had to come through qualification. Look at that. Beating last week's winners at the Indonesia Masters, Kanando Martin in three, and then Koga and Saito, the six seeds. So two seeds they disposed of. They were 17-10 up against Jonko and Kedron in the first, who then reeled off nine consecutive points. They had to hold off three match points. So a really tremendous performance. More on that in just a while. Her Jiting is at 25, just about six foot from uh, the south of China. 16th in the world. And uh, currently, uh, well, his best has been 10th, but no, he was uh, before that when he was with Tan Chiang. Ren Xiang Yu is 25, just a little shorter, 180 from Sichuan, uh, southwest, and uh, he's playing at his best ranking. He Ji Ting is a former world champion runner up in 2021 when he was with Tan Jiang. They've only dropped one game so far, surprisingly, in the first round against a qualifier. Otherwise, it's been very straightforward. The way they disposed of Fikri and Molana yesterday, the second seeds, in less than half an hour, it was something to behold. Very, very Ready impressive. Gunas Lusveris of Latvia is our umpire. He'll be supported by Win Kong Huang, our service judge. But just going back to the uh, Chinese pair. Uh, Herji Ting is a former Asian champion double uh, runner-up in 2018 with uh, Tan Chiang and former world junior champion as well in both boys doubles and mixed doubles in the mid 2010s. Uh, the two of them have won a couple of titles together, the Spain Masters and the Japan Masters, both last year. Both a Super 300, the Spain Masters, Japan Masters, and Kumamoto, a Super 500. Massive moment here yeah, for the ties. This is where the crowd will really have to play a Ladies big role. And gentlemen. On my right, Yen Chin Yu and Xi Jinping, China. And on my left, Mark upon their circle and Pirachai Sukhun, Thailand. Then <laughs> Samu to serve to Pakapon Tirasakul. Love all. Play. It's the Chinese to get us going here. Rung Shang Yu to serve. First point of board, so important, and we get the real cheers there from the crowd. One but in terms of where this is placed and the, the level of opposition, this is absolutely massive for these Thai players. And they're talking about the world number 16 versus the world number 76. There's 60 places in the rankings. Ho Ji Ting and Rung Shang Yu haven't played that long together, remember, just towards the end of last year. But they have already started winning tournaments. Mentioned the two last year.
Going up to the quarterfinals of the Malaysia Green. Open, losing one. to Ranki Reddy and Shetty. No oh, shame in that one. Opening round of the India Open, that would be disappointing. Kim Won Ho and Na Sung Sung. And the second round of the Indonesian Masters, losing to the eventual finalists, Astrup uh, and Rasmussen. Two, three. So it hasn't been a, a fantastic start to the year for the Chinese pair. Well, they'll be banking on this sort of thing. I'll be hoping that this high ranked pair also makes mistakes. Less likely, of course. They need all the help they can get. Oh, what a response there. Could they turn this into a winning point? No, they can't. Service over. Three, four. That was uh, something else, wasn't it, from Pirachai? Oh, the defending has been brilliant so far from the ties. Four all. They've had to defend for their lives at times, these guys, but they're equal to the task. Wait. That was actually very nicely done by Ren Chang Yu. Readjusting himself. Five, four. They still maintain a slender lead. It's been in a fairly nice, decent start for them. Stop drop there, excellent work. Six, four. Thank you. Players back and forth. Six. Well, they're complimenting each other quite nicely here. Longest rally so far, 29 shots. <laughs> well, this is going quite nicely, isn't it? Seven, four. And they increase that lead, it's four points. Eight, four. Well, this has been a dream start here for this Thai pair. And it's almost this uh, fearlessness Five, at the moment that you probably expect from youngsters. They have absolutely nothing to lose here. The expectation, of course, was never, I'm sure, their wildest dreams to make it to the final. But that they have, and they're going to make the most of it. But seeing as you're... 
so much more uh, lowly ranks than your opponents. You might as well take the game to them. Don't be passive. You've got to do something a bit different. You've got to be proactive. Because if you, obviously if you do your normal thing, you're not going to win it. And the rankings and your, your, your history before will testify to that. So you, you've got to be changing it up. And they are. And of course, you use the home crowd to your advantage. So far, it's been great. Oh, the backhand kill shot there. From Pirachai. Well, this really has been superb. Pirachai again does well. Back up on that, really smashing at that one. Bit of a discussion here. The Chinese. When it gets close as possible before the interval. That's where they're presumably going to make their move after the disruption to the momentum of the ties who have a four-point lead in this first game, 11-7. Could this be the start of a very special story? We'll see. So a fantastic start here for the ties. And it's continuing now. Just a word of warning. They were up 17-10 against Supak Jomko and Kitinupong Kedrin. Their uh, compatriots who are the top ranked men's doubles pair from Thailand, number 33 in the world. And my experienced pair at 10 down, reeled up nine in a row. 13, 7. Oh, what a shot to that corner, just in. And they then had to hold off three game points as well. They managed to win 24-22. Oh, I was just going for a little slice there. 8, 13. Oh, Pirachai. Now, the great story here is that, we'll come back to that after this rally. That lead up to six now. No other qualifier has ever won this tournament, apart from one. And that was a sensational story. Lo Ken Yu from Singapore. Men's singles, and who did he beat? The top seed, Lin Dunn, in the 2019 Two final teams. in straight games. That's where Lowe really made his name. Well, this is a stunning, stunning first game here. 
but they would just dearly love to follow in Lowe's footsteps, who's also playing in the final today. 9-15. A couple of points here for the Chinese 10, pair, who 15. must be wondering what on earth is going on here. Well, this is, as I said, very 15. similar to 10. where we were yesterday, when it was 17-10. And then they had to hold their nerve because the type the uh, opposition, Jomko and Kedron, came storming back. So that will be in the back of their minds, I'm sure. Doesn't quite make it over. 11, 16. Tumbles over. 12, Four points in it. Got to hold their nerve here, the ties. Delighted with that, and I remember at its best. 17, 12. It was 15 8. So the Chinese have launched something of a bit of a comeback 4 2 since then. So the lead that was once uh, seven points is now down to four. I don't think there'll be panic stations just yet. As a pair, how do you think of you have been to a couple of finals already, as we said. Okay. 13, 17. Rather, I just correct myself. They've only won Four. one together. The Japan Masters, excuse me. The Spain 13, Masters. 17. How do you think won that with uh, Tang Kao Dong early in the year? Remember, they only got together towards the end of the year. So just one title together. 14, 17. It's now going to start getting nervy for the Chinese pair. And they hold this off. Well, that is a uh, relief, I'm sure, as well. How do you think? Had never got past the first round in this tournament before. Same with uh, Wen Chung Yu. This is the very first ever tournament for this Taipei. Oh, great response. Under pressure here, yeah. Hodge Ting. Return to 15-19. Actually, this Taipei got to the second round last year, just to correct myself, on the Thailand Masters. Yeah. 
and they've set up five game points here. Stunning. Really, really impressive. 20 game point 15. Ren and her are under severe pressure. One save. Sixteen twenty. They've taken the first game. game. What a start first to this match. Pirachai and Pakabon against many odds, I would say. I don't think anyone would have fancied them even taking a game. But they have done that, and they've done it in style as well. Well, this is uh, really quite special. They've played without fear. They've taken the game to their more illustrious opponents. And it's paid dividends with the Taipei winning the first game, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Second game, double play. Well, we are pot potentially halfway through what could be a pretty historic meeting here. Uh, I wouldn't put, quite put it up. One at the levels of uh, Loki and you beating Lin Dan, but it would be something like that, you'd feel. Uh, you, you'd expect, though, and, and of course now is a change of ends. Now, I can't tell you which one was the preferred yesterday because every single match we played yesterday, uh, here on court one was one in straight games. It appeared that they preferred to be playing, obviously, into the drift. So on this near side, some though prefer to be with the drift. So, you know, it really does depend on how they play their, their game. Oh, just the top of the tape there. Back up on. Two, one. Oh, the frustration for him. Well, whatever nominal drift there is, it's coming from the far end. So, in theory, this is where the ties could actually play their shots with a little bit more freedom. Let's see. They led the entire Three, first game, except for one, one moment where they were at four all. They had led the rest of that match, or the first game, I should say, excuse me, the ties. So this is the first time that the Chinese are actually leading in this match. Now, they don't want to let them get too far away. And you can bet this crowd is going to really help. Two, three.
Well, any kind of lead is almost uh, wiped out now, just the one point. Place. Really nicely done by Pinochet. <laughs> Under pressure, the Chinese and the ties draw level. Pressure started to tell on her and run because the ties have now gone into the lead. Well, this is absolutely superb. Collective groan when that happens right now. This is so important now to build on this lead. See if they can withstand this pressure now. And Ren are going to make sure. I think this time I think maybe we're a little too passive at times, a little too reactive rather than proactive in the last game. I think they will have certainly learned from that. Keep that pressure up.
Oh, just a bit long. So over eight, nine. Couldn't quite hold on to that one. Play on. <laughs> Just enough to get over. They will gladly take that. Doesn't matter about the apology. Defending well again, the ties. Well, that's easy one for run to put away. Yeah, this is a lot closer, isn't it, than it was in the uh, previous game. Square here, and I remember the ties led uh, relatively comfortably in the first game 11 7. That's not going to happen here. power and the Chinese go into the interval with that slender one-point lead but it's the ties who have taken the first game so this is going to be very very interestingly poised when they come out of this interval So just the one point lead then for her and Fran at the moment. It is fascinating to see what's going to happen here. Well, the Chinese 
<laughs> double their lead here. Important for the ties to stay close, which they have managed to do thus far. The lead has not been more than two points throughout. This is the moment where the Chinese surge. It could well be. First time they've had a three-point lead. And this is a very good run at the moment from the Chinese. Five points in a row. Get ready quicker. So they were finally their best run of this match, which is finally broken. Just out, no challenges yet. You challenge the lead, sorry guys. You must challenge immediately. Well, it was a challenge, it was to be honest with you, it was a pretty half-hearted one as well from Pirachai, and I think he would have got it wrong anyway. So probably just as well. Challenged immediately, and it could be a good shout for this. Right, let's see what happens here. It is good. remaining. over. Well. 14. Inside the line right, still, right. just about. <laughs> Look thoroughly. I'm impressed at uh, what's been going on. Not giving too much away, but you can see. Play. Yeah, in theory, it shouldn't be anything like this, really, should it? time to challenge that one well we've had a, I think what three challenges in a row now well one attempted which uh, wasn't allowed and then two in a row now let's see this is gonna be tight oh it's just out this is getting tense. Oh, it's gone long. Short rallies at the moment. 16, 
Two points in this. The pressure is racking up. They're not able to really press from the advantage when they want a point. They need to win consecutive. They haven't done that in a while, the ties. In fact, the last time they won consecutive points was way back before when they won a roll of four. Early on. And this is starting to run away from them. now for the Chinese they're looking to drag this to a third looking good to do that so some might say normal service Resuming here for the Chinese pair, much better second game for them. They obviously prefer that far end, and so it would seem the ties as well. And they're both going to get a chance on it here in game three after the Chinese have won the second game 21 14. So the ties, if we're going by what we've seen thus far, they're back on the end that they prefer, which means now, in theory at least, they're going to have to build as big a lead as possible before swapping ends. This is absolutely key for them. <laughs> managed to defend for a while.
fine start so far from the Chinese. the best start we've had from any pair so far and this has probably been one of the longest rallies we've had as well <laughs> that very late indeed let me go right across him First point there, One, important three. for them. was a good one, wasn't it? Not sure entirely how intentional that was. It also helped that the Chinese, I think, just had a bit of miscommunication there. as far as the uh, Chinese are concerned right now. Sorry, the ties, they don't really have to assert themselves. Good. Well, slightly better now for them. Every point the battle for part of the first three which went the way of the Chinese. Much tighter now. Snatching at that one, Richard Yu. Looking to do everything to G up their troops here in the Thai camp. That drive, just a bit too difficult for Ren. <laughs> Dare they dream. A 
was emphatically put away by Peter Chai. Back in front here, the ties. Actually, it's the first time they've led in this third game. We're told to move things along, fair enough. Five. I presume as well that the uh, ties will have also learnt a fair bit from being on the other end, so... As much as they want that lead... Far from over. Just because they change ends. It really is difficult for anyone there to grab a firm hold of this game at the moment. Well, this is no doubt about it, a really tense time in this final. They haven't really had an opportunity to play. People of this uh, ranking. <laughs> Referring to the Chinese, uh, Hoji Ting and Wen Sheng Yu. Stop drops galore. That is a brilliant point. A few stop drops Eight. from Pakapon, and then he changed it up with a jump smash. Great disguise on that. Hergiton gets there. And then the gap that he leaves behind with the dive is then exploited. Oh, they love that one. Well, Hergiton and Rungshan Yu have not played anyone outside of the top 30. Yes, yes, on court. So far in their time together. So Eight, this is all very seven. unusual. <laughs> Lowest ranked pair they've played before this on the World Tours. 27th ranked seven, Rasmus Kier and Frederick Sorgard. At the Denmark Open last year. So this is very awkward for them at the moment. Nine, eight. These guys, at the moment, this Thai pair, barely played in... Barely played in... Apart from their home tournaments, the Thailand Masters and the Thailand Open, where, of course, they will go through the qualification. Their home tournaments. They've only played in Super 100s, Indonesia Masters and the Malaysia Masters. This is huge for them. They are trailing here at the interval, though. 11-8. This is about as far as they want it to be. The Chinese just in front here. Second, 20 
Now it's the swap of ends here, and that is probably good news for the ta for the uh, Chinese. If we're going to go from the theory of how things have played out thus far, they've got they had a three-point lead coming in. Now that's gone up to four, so this is going quite well for them. Now this is for them, as far as the times are concerned, hopefully they can put on a, a run of points here, but they had the Chinese sprawling. Got to stretch them. Really well to really get to that, I have to say. Yeah, A couple of very, very useful points for the ties. Can they get themselves right back in this? Well, they quickly, the pressure that was being turned on, and then they quickly relieved that one, the uh, Chinese pet. Oh, top of the net. That's the stuff they've got to cut out. With unforced errors. Enough playing a high ranked pair, but that stuff just doesn't help. Five points now, it's a big lead here for the Chinese. And that experience, that pedigree is now starting to show. Big lead now, six points. Remember, well, they have not been together for all that long. Got together in October of last year. This Chinese pair. That's worth the shout, isn't it? I think that is probably just wide. Yeah. 
challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. 17-10. Yeah, it's now in reverse. Remember, this is the Boy. lead that the ties had against Jumpko and Kedron yesterday. They almost lost it. They need a similar sort of run that their opponents had who reeled off nine in a row. They desperately need that now. Yeah, this is running away from them, and the Chinese pair probably feel that they're almost there. relentless what they're facing 19 10 Leon There are 10 championship points here now for the Chinese bear. Can they at least pull one back here? Long, long way to go for the ties. That's another. Frustration for the ties is they've actually beaten a high ranked pair like Akira Koga and Taichi Saito. And Leo Roli, Fernando, and Daniel Martin. They're 11th in the world. Great defending, what a rally this is turning out to be. <laughs> and eventually they win that one. Oh, that's a big smile, why not? Fantastic rally. So much going on in there. They looked for a while that the Chinese were going to win it, and then the ties were in ascension before the Chinese bounced back. Ties eventually winning it. Landed. Forty-three shots. Still got seven match points though to save. Championship points. Thank you. for the ties but they're not making it easy for the Chinese at the end here which is uh, I'm sure what the crowd love to see
So we have a winner here for He Jiting and Ren Xiang Yu. But boy, have they been pushed all the way by this unfancied Thai pairing. No repeat heroics here, the Thailand Masters of Qualifiers winning this tournament once again like Lo Kien Yu did in 2019. But boy, have they captured a lot of hearts. This Thai pairing of Pirachai, Sukpun and Pakapon. Because they had until now never been this far in any World Tour tournament. Only the second round. They've never beaten a pair ranked higher than 48th in the world. But here they've beaten the 11th, the 14th, and they pushed the 16th pair in the final. But they fell just short. Haji Ting and Yu, the fifth seeds from China. Beat our qualifiers from Thailand, Pirat Chai, Sukpun, and Pakapon, Hiran Atsakul, 16 21, 21 14, 21 13. It's been a fantastic and entertaining one hour and four minutes of play. It's their second title together, having won the Kumamoto Masters Japan just a few months ago, and that was. Not long after they got together. They got together the Arctic Open. And four tournaments later, they were winners. So maybe more to come from this Chinese pair as we now prepare for the prize presentation. First tournament, they were out in the second round. The Denmark Open, they were out in the quarterfinals. Semi finals of the French Open, quarterfinals of the Hilo Open, and then they won the Japan Masters. That's where they really made their mark at the Super 500. They got to the semi finals of the China Masters. Hasn't been a great start to 2024 until now, where they've won the HSBC BWF Thailand Masters 2024. Congratulations to this year's Thailand Masters 2024 runners-up, Hirachai Sukpan and Pakapon Tirarat Sagun from Thailand. This year's Princess Siri Van Barry, Thailand Masters, 2024 champions, Perji Ting and Ren Zian Yu from China! These 
welcome to present the medal. Please welcome H.E.F. Marshal Chalik Pukpasov, Privy Councillor of Thailand, Honorary Chairperson of the Badminton Association of Thailand under the royal patronage of His Majesty the King. to present the prize money. Please welcome Miss Sudawan Wangpakitkoson, Minister of Tourism and Sports. to present the souvenir. Please welcome Dr. Gongsak Yardmani, Governor of the Sports Authority of Thailand. And without further ado, it's time to present the Royal Trophy. Put your hands together one more time for this year's Thailand Masters 2024 Men's Doubles Champions! So your men's doubles champion here at the HSBC BWF Thailand Masters 2024. The pair from China, Ji Ting and Rung Shang Yu, the fifth seeds. A big, big ask for them to try and qualify for the Olympics when you've got Yang Wei Kung and Wang Chang, uh, Liu Yu Chen and Oshwani ahead of them. But you never know, it would take something uh, pretty special to happen uh, for those pairs, number Thank one and number seven pair. We'll see. And and the other big story is, of course, this Thai pair are going to shoot up the rankings now. Seats, and hopefully we we'll see a lot more of them on the world tour. Certainly captured the imagination here. And that is the second men's doubles pair from China to have won this competition. That puts them on par with Indonesia and Malaysia as the most successful nation in men's doubles. Joint best now.
Now it makes China the most successful, continues to be the most successful nation here at the Thailand Masters with nine titles. Congratulations to all the athletes in today's men's doubles final. Coming up next, the 2024 Princess Siri Van Vary Thailand Masters final women's singles. So up next, we've got women's singles. The third seed from Japan, Aya Hori, takes on Thailand's fourth seed, Supanida Kaitong. First match done and dusted here at the HSBC BWF Thailand Masters 2024. We move now to the women's singles. Aya Ohori, our third seed from Japan, takes on Thailand's fourth seed, Supanira Ketong. So there was always a chance of an all-Thailand final.